happy evening everyone hearty welcome it's wonderful to see you all gathered here joined together by a common purpose why don't we all just settle down make yourselves comfortable and then we will start off this evening with great elan please it's a fine evening and a finer occasion will we say we have come this far to not just come this far but to go farther of course what we need is not just speed but also direction here's where tai kerala comes in for close to two decades now tai kerala has been serving as a compass offering precise directions helping many to navigate the rough seas of business and entrepreneurship founded in the year 2003 as one of the chapters of the globally recognized tai the indus entrepreneurs tai kerala has been relentlessly trying to enhance and empower the entrepreneurial ecosystem of kerala and in this process has particularly identified five niche areas that require promotion namely mentoring networking uh, education incubation and funding therefore when we gather here today for a flagship event for tai kerala's flagship event tycon the conference itself is underscored by these five facets so we are all set to be part of uh, insightful mentoring sessions resourceful talks of course unique opportunities for networking um, needless to say stalwarts and luminaries joining us for brainstorming sessions panel discussions and what not so these are some of the many ways that tai kerala has uh, chosen to push the frontiers of knowledge in the industry so ladies and gentlemen we are at that unique point in space and time where those who have made it big in business and those who are dreaming it big in business come together where those whose entrepreneurial journeys have been inspiring and those who have just embarked on their entrepreneurial journey with huge aspirations are coming together we have come to that point when tai kerala rolls out the red carpet sets the ball rolling for kerala's largest convention of entrepreneurs one of india's most prestigious confluences of business persons ladies and gentlemen heartiest welcome to tai kerala's iconic tycon 2022 powered by hsbc this is going to be one of the game changing moments to our delegates and of course an event that is unparalleled in scale and ambition like this can be put together only with the efforts of many so we've had the fortune of partnering with many to make this event come true the 11th edition of tycon is powered by hsbc our knowledge partner is kpmg our gold sponsors are ksum kef muthoot ibs cancor and group miran our silver sponsors are ksfe isa kims kied kbip ksidc lead squared kmtc and suntech our supporting partners are open make a village ace money and manilas a huge shout out to all those who partnered with us thank you very much right at the outset we begin with gratitude with our minds full of gratefulness and now that we are ready it's time for the host to come up on stage and extend a gracious welcome to all those who've come together today i'd like to invite on stage for the welcome address the chairman of tycon kerala 2022 vice president of tai kerala and managing director chetna formulations he is also associated with several companies serves as a director now for pharma firms like variety pharmaceuticals cng pharma limited and the very diligent mr damodar avanur please come up on stage to extend a warm welcome good evening to all of you we have come to the 11th edition of tycon a flagship event of tai kerala 10 years back this conference was kick started by John K Paul who was the then president and during that conference he was affectionately christened as his holiness john paul by one of the important guests 
Ashok Rao from Thai Silicon Valley. <clears throat> and all the presidents who followed ensured that this conference took place every year without fail. We had an excellent core team of organizers consisting of our CMs. President Anisha led from the front like Jhansi Rani. Jacob, with his calm demeanor, ensured stability to the group. Ajit Mopan, with his experience, flagged issues which needed our attention. We had with us Roy, Rajesh Nair, Tangam, Revati, who, is, who used to log on at uh, 8 in the morning from Dallas, USA, every Tuesday and Wednesday. Naveen Philip, Saju, Joseph Ulasa, Rahul Maman, Anandamani, Vinodhani, Roshan and Vinay Kainadi, chipping in whenever and wherever they could. <coughs> Jojo, Anisha's husband, and a couple of Laurentians ensured that uh, we have with us tomorrow the Finance Minister of Tamil Nadu, Sri Parinivel Tyagarajan. We too have his classmate, Justice Jay Shankar. Unfortunately, uh, Jojo's efforts did not gain traction with Anisha. He had to register himself as a delegate, and he paid his delegation fees, howling and kicking. That's how it happened. Vivek, uh, who is the Thai Awards Chair, ensured that this year's winners were selected with the same diligence and uh, transparency like how he was doing it in the past. We have one of our uh, judges out here, Ms. Aruna Sundaraj. The concluding phase of Capital Cafe is going to be presented tomorrow by Roshan and his team. They had hectic uh, days during the build-up. Arun, our executive director, led an efficient secretariat with his positive attitude and approach. Whenever we had issues cropping up, Arun would say, don't worry, it'll be taken care of next Tuesday or Friday, whatever it is. He has been ably supported by Divya, who's been with Thai Kerala for the past 20 years. And her experience has ensured that all the nitty gritty details were taken care of. We have our other secretariat members, Anuplal, Eldo, Fias, Joes, Nikhil, and intern Adira playing their part. During the organizing committee meetings, we had our stressful moments. Some of the speakers who had confirmed canceling at the last moment, some just did not pick up our calls. Why, last Tuesday when we were having a physical meeting, we got a call from Hyderabad, Sunita Reddy's office, saying that she's not well. Tangam immediately took up the phone and tried to get her sister, and she was told that both of them were down. You should have seen the scene at that uh, room. Anisha just slumped in the chair, said, oh my God, what am I going to do? Jacob put his hands on his chin and was, was looking around with a glazed look. Tangam was having a very feeble smile. And then we got the next call saying that they're going to depute Arundhubay. If not, we would have been in deep trouble. <clears throat> I'll get down to my task. Thai Kerala welcomes our speakers for the evening, Rajesh Nambiar, Aruna Sundarajan, Ravi Narayan, BJ Arun, and our two family members, Faisal and Padma Kumar. We welcome the delegates. We wish that you have a pleasant time and go back home with a bag full of takeaways. Thai welcomes our sponsors and their representatives who have gathered here. We welcome our invited guests. Thai welcomes our past presidents, SR Nair, he's yet to come, I believe. Uh, Jose Dominic, Shivdas Menon, A.V. George, John K. Paul, M.S.A. Kumar, Rajesh Nair, and Ajit Mupin. We miss Balagopal and Murli Gopal, who could not make it. We welcome our representatives from the print and visual media who have covered our activities to the best possible way that they could. And we wish they continue to do so in the days and years to come. <coughs> we welcome our support team, too. And finally, we welcome our own family members, our charter members and their families who have turned up and our associate members. The response from our charter members has been overwhelming. Finally, do sit back, relax, take in the proceedings and have a wonderful time. Thank you very much. And now for the presidential note, she has been ably helming Thai Kerala in her position 
as the president of Thai Kerala. She is also the managing director of Chemanur Academy and Sciences, an enterprise that has big names part of the clientele, including Accenture, Eastern Group and many reputed money exchange groups and um, jewellery networks in the Middle East. Someone who is passionate about conducting and executing several long-term training programs to transfer mid-sized businesses, to transform mid-sized businesses to professionally run ventures. Ladies and gentlemen, the very meticulous Ms. Anisha Charyan. Welcome. The delighted hostess for the day. Welcome. Good evening to you all. Distinguished guests, members of Thai family and my dear friends, let me once again welcome you all to our 11th edition Taikon 2022. It is a flagship event of Thai Kerala and the largest professional networking conference of entrepreneurs and startups in Kerala. To give you a brief introduction to Thai Kerala and its impact on the ecosystem, Mr. Damodar had already mentioned the five pillars of Thai include mentoring, networking, education, incubating, and funding. To execute the above five pillars, Thai Kerala had introduced multiple verticals. Each of these verticals have gone deep over the last two decades and created a direct massive impact in the ecosystem. Kerala Angel Network, CAN. The purpose is to directly promote funding of startups. CAN has already funded 16 crore plus. The TYE, that is Thai Young Entrepreneur, to inculcate entrepreneurial skill set to school children, including private and government schools. 4,000 plus school students have benefited. Thai Women, a global pitch competition for women founders. The price money is $100,000, impacted 100 plus women founders. Women in Business, we did two editions. It's a large format conference for women entrepreneurs. We have impacted 750 plus women entrepreneurs. Capital Cafe, to screen and mentor early stage startups and give them an opportunity to pitch in front of investors. We have impacted 1,300 startups as on date. Tycon, we have completed 10 editions till now. We have more than 8,000 entrepreneurs have already attended the Tycon conferences over the years. Last year, when Mr. Anish Achutan, founder of Open, the first unicorn from Kerala, when he received the Thai Kerala Award, he made a statement. He said he decided to be an entrepreneur when he attended a Thai con. That is great validation for our conferences. We are planning to launch Thai University, that is to teach entrepreneurial skill set to, school, to college students, and that will be launched this coming February. This is just to give you a brief about the kind of impact Thai Kerala has been doing over the last many years. Bill Gates, in his acceptance speech for the Thai Global Lifetime Achievement Award, said, innovation is the key to solving the world's toughest challenges, from stopping the pandemic to avoiding climate crisis or raising human capital productivity. But innovators cannot do it alone. They need the support of the entire ecosystem to make it happen. Thai Kerala is committed to supporting this entire ecosystem to make it happen. I would also like to mention a quote by the president of Stanford University, Tessier Lavigny, on his receipt of Thai Global Awards. He said, fostering creativity, hard work, and innovation among entrepreneurs is the best practical way to solve real world problems. It is clear the world has great challenges and can be solved only by great ideas. Entrepreneurs convert these great ideas to solutions through their products and services. The one message I would like to share with you all is to strive to build purpose-driven companies which stems from a purpose-driven life. Mission is what you do every day. Vision is where you are heading. Your purpose is much deeper. It's about understanding why do you do what you do? Why do you get up in the morning and rush to work? What is the role that you are meant to play in this world? It needs to be authentic and aligned to your values. Ask yourself, what is the larger purpose of my company? What is the real problem that my product or service is solving in society? Ask yourself, who are you? What do you do? Who do you do it for? 
What do your customers really need? How do they transform as a result of your product or service? These are deep questions that will give you clarity of your larger purpose. Purpose in business is a clear understanding that we are only stewards. We are given charge for a temporary period, which is an opportunity to make a difference and contribute towards this larger purpose that benefits society. Profit, money, income is always, always a byproduct of excellence. As president of Thai Kerala, I have been given this opportunity for a period of one year to contribute to a larger purpose to help in creating an ecosystem that will encourage entrepreneurs to initiate enterprises that will solve real problems through innovative products and services. I am committed to this cause. A beautiful statement by a renowned psychiatrist, Victor Franklin, in his book, A Man's Search for Meaning. He's a Holocaust survivor. He said, between stimulus and response, there is a space. And in that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. When we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. And that is the only way forward. A quote from Buddha, your purpose in life is to find your purpose and give your whole heart and soul to it. Let me wish you all a fantastic conference of learning, networking, improving, and innovating. Remember, we are problem solvers and solution makers, and we can choose to make this world a better place. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you, ma'am. Such a fine uh, note, richly embedded with quotes from big names, and it's truly interesting. Between stimulus and response is that space that will decide your growth. Wonderfully put. Thank you, ma'am. So let's also have some of our most distinguished guests on stage to uh, formally light the ceremonial lamp and thereby inaugurate the, uh, the 11th edition of Taikon. I'd like to invite on stage Honorable former Secretary to the Government of India in the Ministries of Steel, IT and Telecom. Please, Aruna Sundar Rajan. Madam, hearty welcome to you. Mr. Rajesh Nambiar. Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyoti Gamaya Mrityo Maha Amritam A radiant start indeed. We have officially inaugurated the sessions. Thank you the ladies and the gentlemen here for starting it off on such bright notes for us. We will see you all again for further.